What is up boys and girls, welcome back to another Ayuki Tuber. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the secret OP of Huey support. And I call it secret, despite the fact that every single pro team is vying over picking this team. It's basically pick or ban. Uh, the LCS is picking him, the LEC is playing him. Uh, the only reason I, I consider it called secret is because the win rate in solo queue alone is really, really bad. Like I'm talking like 44%, 45%. It's really, really rough out there, but um, that is mostly because it's an extension of people not really knowing how to play the champion, not knowing how to play with the champion. So I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna be showing you guys the best build, play style, strat, uh, itemization, everything for Huey support so that you too can play the champion that is taking over pro, pro play. Uh, and again, it's not just, you know, one or two teams picking it. It is a lot of, of, of teams that have all come to the conclusion that this champion is a really, really broken support. Uh, even better in than as a mid laner because I don't know I think I think it's a lot of like the expectations that makes him better as a support because like mid lane you have to worry about like oh am I going to be against like a an assassin you have to worry about like using your spells on getting CC or CS whereas as a support you can literally just use your spells and you've got a lot of them to just harass and just go for big damage and people won't see it coming because you're you know you're a support but. It's really, really busted. Like, look at this damage level level two. Really, really cracked. And uh, we're against a fellow mage support. And I guarantee you, we're going to be more useful than the Vex. So, yeah. Just going to be showing you guys a couple bread and butter combos. I like using the QE when uh, to keep the wave under the turret like that. And when they're looking for CS. Uh, right here is where you want to have them. This is where you feel. I feel like you have like the most control this way support. Is keeping them under their turret. Keeping them poked. Keeping them low. You can even like pivot around the uh, the menu wave like that. Now Hui is all about landing two spells consecutively on the same target because that will proc his passive, and then it's big AOE damage. Oh, like that. Now, as you might notice, spamming spells like this costs a lot of mana. So what we're going to be doing is level three. We're going to put a point into our W, and then we're going to be WEing pretty much on cooldown. Look at that. Look at that, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's just so much freaking damage, and they never see it coming because, like, oh, Hui support, he's trolling. That's a 44% win rate champion. Nope. I mean, it is, but, like, you're not trolling by playing this, I promise you. All right, so what I mentioned earlier about getting mana back is uh, we're going to be using our WE and then auto-attacking three minions which helps shove the wave, which you want to always do, and then also give you some more mana to work with. Get this. And let's leave her with a little goodbye present of two missed spells. Alright, so as for our build, guys, don't follow the, um, do not follow the, uh, recommended items. Ludens Companions, that is recommending it for mid lane, where wave clear is a lot more important. Uh, what we're going to be going as support is actually, uh, Horizon Focus. This is what they're building in pro play, guys. They go Horizon Focus into Crypt Bloom, which is another kind of low-key OP item. Because basically, whenever you get a kill or an assist, you're going to be healing your team. So it's just like another layer of utility. And I think that's kind of what separates Huey from all the other mage supports in Season 14. Like, he's just useful. He has so much utility on top of all this damage. He's got speeds, speed ups, and slowdowns, and C reli pretty li reliable CC, and shields. Whereas, like, you compare that to, like, Zyra. And it's like, when you get a Zyra on your team, you're like, okay, she's going to either take the kills or be useless. Possibly both. You know, but with Wei, I don't know. It just feels like no matter what the situation is, no matter what the game state is, you're just always useful. So yeah, enough yapping about Hui. I've, I've, I've hopefully sold you guys on him. Now it's time to actually show you guys in action what this guy's capable of doing. This guy's dead. Got him. The flash auto. There we go, baby. Tag Jinx with a little bit of damage. So yeah. I mean, he thought he was getting an easy snack there, but he underestimated the way. And now I have blue buff. Got a lot more to play with here.
speed my team up. Because if Ash can get on top of her, she can just kill her. Got her with the lightning bolt. Oh my gosh, look at that execute damage, man. It's just too broken, man. Boom. God, this champion's so fun. <laughs> All right. Well, now he's just kind of our victim. Do that. Get him rooted. Boom. So what I what it, what I should have actually done there is if you get a guaranteed root or CC from like an Asha or something, you should always be using the lightning bolt move. Because it does more damage if they're CC'd. So you can set up the root like that. And then get that guaranteed lightning bolt. Which is a guaranteed passive. And so on and so forth. Ooh, barely missed him there. Yeah, this game is going to get a little bit harder as it goes on. We're coming out of laning phase with a really, really huge lead, but... We're against three assassins, which is Rengar, Fizz, and Vex. Oh, I got a rooted there. Need to get my shield on. Oh. Oh. Lightning bolt. <laughs> there it is, baby. Huge. Ash is going to die there, but it's fine. We're going to get the wave, and we'll take the plate in her honor, guys. Guys, like the video if you're a believer in Hui support. I wanna I wanna see. Be a at the because the the public opinion about this champion really is like split right down the center. People either think that it is super broken or it is the most worthless thing ever, and all these pro teams are trolling. So I I, I wanna kinda know where you guys stand on this. Just wanna make sure we get the dragons. Saw Rengar and Fizz moving down. Alright, so we got our, on our first full item. We got Horizon Focus. And now it's basically just going to do um, extra damage when we hit them with long range spells or CC. Yeah, this champion just, he just feels great to play, man. Such a fun champ. Because it always feels like you could have played it like 10% better. Like he has so many spells, so many different combinations and scenarios. It's kind of like Pike. Well, Pike's a lot more limited, but the reason I am drawn to playing Pike so much, guys, is like I really like champions that require precision like that and then are essentially uh, like no matter how well you play it, you always could have played it like a little bit better, you know? gonna die here. At least I don't die to the Rengar, though. Oh. Oh. Nice, nice. Yeah, at least I don't die to the Rengar. Um, I'm not the only AP on my team, so I don't feel the need to go uh, Sork Shoes. I'm gonna go into CDR Boots instead. And then second item, as I've already mentioned, is just gonna be Crit Bloom. Run, Fizz. Oh, he's not running. He's going in. What a psycho. Alright, I'm going to show you guys something fun you can do with the lightning bolt. You can essentially... Like, if he's really low, he's wanting to recall, right? I can literally just, like, spam lightning bolts on him from four screens away and not let him recall. Is he going to try it? Oh. oh, he almost died there. <laughs> Sniper. Uh-oh. She doesn't have the damage to kill me, so... We chillin'. 
We chillin'. When they're in a minion wave like that, or like pivoting around minions, you can't go for the fear. UW's really, really OP though. Oh. On my way? Oh boy. Yo, that was actually so clean. I knew he was gonna get the jump, so I was just spamming the fear and it knocks him out of the jump. Too good, too good, baby. If this guy wants to try to shark me. Get my autos off here. It's like I just chugged a mana potion every time I do that. All right, on my way mid. I guess I can head bot since we haven't taken the turret. There's just like so much action going on mid. Just kind of been like the, the place to be, you know? All right, my Ash died. Yeah, I guess she needs some help bot. I'd kind of like to be top for those grubs since they already got the first set, but what can you do? No justice. No revenge. Then I shield that. It's that easy, boys. It's that easy. God, this champion is so broken, man. What a surprise when you buff a champion 25 times right after he comes out, he's going to be strong. And, and the crazy thing is like, I don't really see an end in sight. Like I'm pretty sure they're just going to keep buffing him because his win rate is really low. All right, uh, Rengar's going to be looking bot. <gasps> nice shot, bro. It was actually a good shot. Uh, I'm on full crit bloom though. Oh, hope that doesn't land. Really hope that doesn't land because I want the grubs. All right, I'm on two items. These are the two items that, in in a in a more bal in a more even game, like this is every every pro game of Huey that I looked at, they get two items, and like this is his core build essentially. You're pretty much full build with this. I need Fiora for my last ultimate hunter proc. Some vision there. And again, there's just like so many people mid. I feel like I need to be mid. Shield out for the team fight. There we go. That crit bloom coming in too. So we just heal our whole team. All right. Now we've got our Zax Zax. Thought, thought he was going to jump on me again. So I went for the fear. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm super dead. I realized the Jinx is still there. That's my bad. I mean, I am literally playing behind their turrets. So we're, we're doing a little bit of limit testing, I think. Dude, look at the healing though. It's only got off once and it healed my team for 400. Like, it's like way too much. What is Riot thinking with this? All right, against three assassins, Zonius is looking pretty fresh here. I said earlier, the game was gonna get harder. Where we have to start playing, interacting with these uh, assassins. But if I can just like bait out Rengar or Vex to go on me and then go golden. Should be golden. Alright, I'm gonna play off of uh, Ash Arrow. Speed my team up. Boom. Beautiful. Champions like a TF who are basically just like, like 
guy's dead. <laughs> Who are basically gated just beyond, like, by... Can he catch them? If he can catch up to them, he gets, like, a guaranteed stun, right? It's when the, uh, the WQ is gonna be really OP. My god. I am so dead. I am so, so dead. Unless... <laughs> no way! <laughs> yes. Oh, she actually landed it. I don't have any mana, but I want to back up my homie here. I'm dead. Ow! Unless... Bro, am I really not going to die off that? That is... Wild. Hot diggity dog. Alright, I got my Jonias. Bro, the fear is just way, way, way too OP, man. Create space. It's like kind of what separates it between like just being a stun. It's like it pushes champions you don't want near you away from you. Like that's like invaluable. It's better than just CC. There's bot. Really? I didn't quite land the EE. Need to be like faster with my fingers. I'm pretty nimble with it, but need to be a little faster to get those spells off. Let's have my Q ready. So it's just fear, bro. Double kill. Okay. Going on over there. Like another kill over there. I might, I might do a little equalizing. Might, might give him a little bit of a freebie here. Unless. Oh, barely, barely. All right, so the crit bloom is doing absolutely insane healing. Fifty, bro. This item is doing more damp, more healing than if I were to have gone like Moonstone. That's actually insane. It's got that infinitely scaling late game too with Gathering Storm. I still want my last ultimate hunter proc with Fiora, but. Let's paint our way down to the dragon. I, I love that ability, by the way. WQ, it just feels so good. I think it's because there's no cast time. So you just like, whoosh, whoosh, you just like flick of the brush while you're moving. Oh my God. Speed up my team. Uh, wait, that actually almost just killed. That actually just killed her. Later. Did Tia flash gold card like a minion or something? Zap. <laughs> Alright, let's go get this Rengar. I hit him. Where's he at? Where'd he go? up good bait ash <laughs> guys it's it's totally okay to use your uh, your adc as live bait oh, i don't have mana for my ult that was a bad ignite then i'm a little low on mana for this oh nope 
that sucks. In super mega death rocket got me. Um, we can go tier. I mean, we can also just go Ludens. I think it's too late in the game to go like tier. Won't be stacked for like the end of the, until the end of the game. So I'll just go. I will just end up going Ludens. Get a little bit of base mana. Bro, I want this ultimate hunter proc. I'm going to be, I don't know why I'm just hyper fixated on, I'm going to be upset if I don't get all five of them. You know what I mean? Hi. It's about to be a bloodbath. But whose blood? Nice read, nice read. See it? Let's see it. Oh. Got him. Get off me, boy. That might be a little bit of a GG angle there, guys. I'm down to keep playing the game. Oh, I got my ultimate hunter. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Kind of up to our team if we want to end the game here. I'm, I'm down to keep playing just because Hui is so fun. Don't end. I'm having fun. Got our... Second proc of Gathering Storm. Dude, Gathering Storm is like so much more broken on AP champs. Look at this. 24 AP versus 14 AD. Kind of broken. It's not fair. Well, bye. Speed my team up. Oh wait, that's not. Oh yeah, it is. Oh no. It's okay. I just Zonius. Zap him. Speed my team up. Got my fear ready if he turns. Oh. Ah, bro. Nice try. Nice try. They want me, but they can't have me. I don't think we're going to be able to catch this guy. And zap him a little bit, though. Really? I should have stayed further back. No oh, malignance. Ooh, the malignance. That's not, that sounds good, actually. That sounds better than Ludens. I like it. A little bit of burn underneath the ulti. <laughs> we have 16 kills. Kali posting up within the E. Alright, I say we win one more team fight and then we'll put them out of their misery, guys. What do you say? On mid. I did not mean to push that. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Uh, that sucks. I bought my malignance and <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> I bought my malignance and then fat fingered my ulti. Bye bye. Easy. It's the express route to the Nexus. All right, that's probably going to be game. A little unfortunate I whiffed my last ult of the game, but maybe, maybe we can ult him in the fountain or something. 
A little bit of value from Malignance. Dive the fountain. Oh my! I'm farming them in the fountain. Bro! Hit him! Oh. Sonia's? Okay. Kill this guy. Kill that guy. <laughs> We're just having a little bit of fun there at the end. But 18 kills, play support. Guys, there is a very good reason every pro team is picking this champion. It's not only picking him, fighting over who gets to pick him. Um, it's, it's really, really cracked. And I just... Think that Riot is a little bit short-sighted in how hard they buffed him and how many times they buffed him. Let's take a look at that damage chart. It really wasn't even all that close. We did 43,000 damage. Uh, closest on the enemy team was actually the Vex support. So shout out to her putting up a fight. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh.